Hi y'all, Mike Pease. Welcome back to my shop for another turning tip. You know, there's a couple of things I found you can't have too many in your shop. One of them is, is pencils and the other one is, is rulers. And one of the techniques that I found, uh, you know, I've shown this before, but some of y'all might have seen it. Take your ruler, wrap uh, uh, a uh, rare earth magnet with a little magnetic tape and then you can just stick it stick it somewhere on, on your lathe. Uh, I carry one of these in my uh, toolbox when I uh, go demonstrate or do a workshop, so I'll always have a pencil pencil handy. But I think the one that, that I really want to share with you today is the, the tip about having having a ruler. Uh, let me just show you this little great find I, I found. You know, I do a hands-on uh, workshop once a month up at uh, Chattahoochee and we always don't have, a, don't have enough rulers. So I went out on eBay and found uh, a real deal. I got 10 rulers for $3 shipping included. So apparently our trade war hasn't uh, uh, affected small purchases like this, which is fortunate. It's got uh, metric on one side and imperial on the other. Now, the, the thing I want to show you about this is, if you, again, if you just put a couple of uh, rare earth magnets on it, you can just stick it in a permanent place, a semi-permanent place on your lathe. Let me just show you how handy that is. Now I've got this little flexible strip that I got from uh, Petrie Wood, uh, Woodworking in a goodie bag. Uh, they, they sponsor uh, Gwinnett Woodworkers and we wound up with these little goodie bags with some things in it. So this is this is very handy and flexible and it's yellow and it matches my lathe. But, but with this, you know, this would go go just fine right here and I just use this all the time for you know I've got a little block of wood and I'm trying to figure out is this closer to two inches or one and three quarters and I can just just lay it up here and and tell or if I is, is this long enough for my project I want it to be four and a half inches and it's only four inches so I, I just find this to be be really handy of course you can put this on your lathe whether wherever it's appropriate maybe it's on the headstock maybe it's right in front of you on the uh, the lathe bed uh, so that's that's handy. Uh, the other possibility. So here's the other technique. When my, when my mother-in-law came to live with us uh, after living in that same house for 50 years, and she got rid of everything pretty well and pretty easily, but you know, some things she couldn't part with, and she she brought with her these two yardsticks. Back in the old days, and these used to be free from certain stores. This one's from a one's from a furniture store, one's from a paint store, Florence, Alabama. So I got these two two sticks, but. If you have a, a yardstick like this, or even just a plastic ruler, but a yardstick, you could cut it off and glue a couple of uh, uh, rare earth magnets and use it the same way as those uh, stainless steel ones. Or if you got a longer lathe bed, you could, you know, use the whole thing on the side like that. Perhaps you want a, uh, a, a longer one. So your comments are important. If you have any suggestions for another uh, tip of the week or uh, video, leave me in the comments below. If you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting the, the easy for you to say the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos. Y'all stay safe and come on back here.